DJ Crow for MacBook Narrow Mix tutorial. Let's get into it. So the first thing that you are going to see regarding Neural Mix is going to be down here. These are our map are the easiest way to use Neural Mix. So when the song's playing, what you could do is you could either move this slider all the way to the right to have your vocals only move it all the way to the left to have your instrumentals only if you don't want to use the slider because it's kind of hard to use the slider when you're using the the keypad or a mouse you could just click it so you could click it and it does the same thing and brings it all the way over and then if you want to slowly fade it in or out you could use it with the slider another feature of neuromix that we could control is there's a hidden drop down menu here and then you could go from instrumental to acapella from percussion to tonal depending on what style of music you like to dj with and genre of music i'd keep it on instrumental acapella it's the most common sense way to use it one way is vocals one way is instrumental so you could play the instrumentals from one song the vocals from another song and you have an instant mashup and it's really cool another way to access neural mix is going to be over here you see we have eq there's a hidden drop-down menu. There are a lot of hidden drop-down menus in this app. Same thing with the iPad. I'll make another video showing you all of them, but here we're talking about Neuromix. So we drop this down, and then it goes EQ. This is your traditional EQ that DJ's been using for years and years. Lows, mids, and highs. Traditional way of mixing songs together and blending the frequencies together to have smooth mixes. The next thing that we can do is press the drop down menu and now we have neuro mix. So we get a three band neuro mix EQ. This is supposed to be like the future of DJing. Eventually it's going to go from bass, mids, and highs to drums, harmonics, and vocals. Neuro mix has been out for a while and I think most DJs like the traditional mixer, but this is how you could do the new neuro mix mixer. So you could either take out the drums, you could make the drums higher. You could take out the harmonics, take out the vocals. You get a little more control than this one down here. You get the three bands. And that is a way to control Neuromix in this app. I don't really use it because I like to have my regular EQs. And then if I want Neuromix, I have it down there. But that is up to you. Now, the other way to access Neuromix is going to be up here. This app for the MacBooks is a little bit different. Instead of pressing the middle button and going through your menu, we have these kind of, kind of features that you're used to seeing on laptops. So up here, there is Loops, FX, and then Neuromix. We are going to click on Neuromix, and then boom, we get an expanded... Uh, an expanded mixer down here. So we have a big view of our library. It gets a little bit smaller with these features, but we still have a decent view of our library. And now we have a couple of options. Drums, you can do drums only. Harmonics, harmonics only. Vocals only, you could turn off the vocals and harmonics with these kind of slash buttons. And then you could slowly fade it in to do nice smooth blends of Neuro Mix. It starts us in drums, harmonics, and vocals, but if we want to change that, we could press this neural mix symbol here. Again, hit and drop down menu, my favorite. Press that, and then if you want the simpler two band, just instrumentals and acapellas, you could get a two band. If you don't change the harmonics a lot like I do, then there's no need to have that slider there taking up space and confusing you, so you could leave it on two. Again, we could switch from in two bands, we could switch from instrumentals to acapella, from percussions and tonals, just like over here. Next, three bands, bass, harmonics, and vocals. That is what it's going to start on, but you could change it to the drums, bass, and melodic if you like. And then also, we get a four-band EQ, which is going to be drums, bass, harmonics, and vocals. That is where you're going to have the most control over neural mix in this app. So what I would recommend is having it set to have this neural mix slider down here on two bands and then use this slider over here. This way you can use more of the features, more of the features and not get confusing. Although there are so many amazing features in this app, they make it so you don't have to have them all open at the same time. So the ones you don't use could be gone and the ones you do use are right here where you need it. And if you want to learn how to use Neuromix for the iPad, check out this video over here. Thank you.